Hey YouTube, Apple iDev here. Um, today I'm actually starting a third series. Um, I already have my Programming 101 and my uh, Mac Development Tutorial series, but today we're starting a third one, and this one's going to be um, basically Learn Objective C. Um, I got a viewer comment on my channel that asked for kind of some basics, just what does different notation mean? Just trying to understand some basics of Objective C. Um, and so the idea of this series is going to be teach to teach people how to use Objective-C, assuming you already have some programming experience. If you have no programming experience, you're going to want to check out the Programming 101 series. Um, and if you already know Objective-C, you're going to want to check out the uh, Learn Development for the Mac series, uh, both of which can be found on my channel. Uh, I don't have videos and playlists, but I can do that if you would guys like. If you guys would like, uh, just drop a comment below. Um, so other than that, uh, let's go. Uh, actually, sorry, before I start, I want to thank you guys. Um, literally in eight days, I already have almost 400 views and a dozen subscribers. Um, that's really amazing, and I thank you guys for the support. Uh, please keep spreading the word and keep watching videos. So having said that, let's talk about Objective-C for a bit. Um, Objective-C is, is an extension of the C language. Uh, like, I, like I talk about in my Programming 101 series, Almost all languages now are derived from Basic C, and Objective C is obviously no different. Um, but just because it's derived from C doesn't mean it's the same thing. Um, there are a lot of similar notations to C, or but but at the same time, there are also there's also a completely new notation, um, which I'm actually not going to show you today but probably in the second, third, maybe fourth tutorial, uh, you'll see this new notation. Um, it's a really cool way um, of passing parameters and things like that. It's much more powerful than anything you've ever used before. Um, the one thing you need to realize is that Objective-C is different than Coco. Objective-C is the language that is underlying under all Mac um, and iOS applications. Coco is the user interface. Coco is this screen that you see on my MacBook right now. Coco Touch is the user interface on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. Um, so Coco is something that essentially what you're learning when you go to my um, Mac development series is you're learning Coco. Uh, in this series, we're just going to be learning Objective C, which means we're not going to be really covering user interface. So if you already know Objective C enough, uh, you can move on to the other series. Um, and the last thing that you need to know about Objective-C is just like Java or C++ or regular C, uh, Objective-C does have a console, and that's mainly what we're going to be dealing with uh, here. Like I said, no really, n no GUI elements or anything like that. Um, so with that, let's get into it. I'm going to uh, here, go in here and open up Xcode. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, Xcode actually crashed my computer, uh, like I talked about. Uh, it is a very old uh, MacBook. Okay, not very old, but in computer world, very old, uh, several years. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new Xcode project. And in this window, we're going to select Command Line Tool. And we're just going to call this Learn Objective C. And down here, you want to make sure your type is set to Foundation. Um, depending on what version of Xcode you're using, it might be different. Make sure you don't use Core Foundation. That's completely different. Uh, you want to have Automatic Reference Counting checked. And like I talk about, you want a central developer folder. I talk about this in all of my tutorials. You want to make sure that's there. Um, you just want to have a central place where everything is stored. So what you're going to do is you're going to look over here, and you're going to see that we have a main.m file. It stands for implementation. Um, so rather than a C file, which is .c, or a Java file, .java, or C++, .cpp, um, it's .m. Um, so know that, and don't get confused by that. Um, I'm going to see it looks sort of similar to a default C application, um, but instead, because it's a foundation tool and because we're writing an Objective-C, it's importing foundation and foundation.h. Uh, this means it's importing the framework and the header file for a foundation tool, uh, and it's got a standard C main method. Um, what we're actually going to do is um, this auto-release pool, we're not really going to worry about it for our purposes. It doesn't really do anything important, so we're just going to delete it. Um, but what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you something, um, and what this function is, it's called nslog, and it's actually Objective-C's version of printf. If you've used C 
or if you've used Java before, it's system.out.println, or if you've used C++, it's the same as C out with the two caret brackets and whatever you are trying to output. Um, it essentially just prints a string to a console. But the difference is, in Objective-C, strings are, noted, are uh, notated a little differently. Um, not much, but if you miss this, uh, your program's going to complain, and you won't be happy. So the different notation is you just have to make sure before your string, you type at. Uh, if you don't have that at symbol, uh, your string isn't going to work. Uh, so you're going to type at, and we'll just make this the very basic hello world. And of course you need that closing quote and a semicolon uh, to close out the function call. Um, now the thing that we need to note is that in Objective C, if I were to call printf, C functions still apply. I can still call printf and call a regular hello world. Um, and I'll leave this in there and you'll see that when we uh, actually run the application it will achieve the same effect. But um, the big difference here is that um, NSLog provides some cool foundation things that you can't really access with printf, namely um, date and time formats and things like that. There are several formats that and uh, formatters that you can't access with printf that you can access with NSLog. So we're going to use NSLog here to print out all of our console messages. Um, and so that's all you really need to know. Um, other than that, oh, you also need to know, just like C, there are format specifiers. If you're coming from Java or C++, this is a little weird, um, but just know that if you were to say something, uh, if we would have declared an int x here, and we set it to 5, and um, here we were to say hello world, and we said percent %d, and we did a comma x, um, that's a format specifier, the percent %d. Um, and if you're coming from Java, it's a little different than just adding, than just concatenating. Um, but essentially, that format specifier is just one of the many, um, and Objective-C adds several that are really cool, um, and we'll cover those in later tutorials. But for now, um, basically, you know what the nslog function does, you know that printf is still valid, and we're going to run it just to show you. Um, down here, you're going to want to make your console, and you're going to want to choose target output, so you just get what you're supposed to. And you see that, again, both of the Hello Worlds printed the same, um, so, you know, printf still works the same as it uh, did with regular C. The only real difference is, again, that um, NSLog provides some cool little extras that we can use with Objective-C that you can't use in plain C. So, uh, that was the first tutorial in Learn Objective-C. Um, I'll come up with something to talk about in the next tutorial. Um, but until then, please keep watching, subscribe, and thanks for viewing.